是中国的一部分，这是事实。This makes simple things like walking much easier for troops who have lost a leg to battlefield injuries. China's Vice Foreign Minister Xi Jung is in London for talks. Great Britain will defend her allies and her interests at home and abroad. Do you know what happened? You're a soldier. Your name is Paul Dawson. You were shot in the head and your brain is damaged. We're going to test how well Vincent's brain implant has repaired that damage. I want my mum. Do you know your mother's name? What would she look like? Right. <clears throat> now, I want you to look where Lucy hides the ball, and then I'm going to ask you some questions. Lucy can't see us. Try and imagine what Lucy will be thinking when she comes back in. Lucy, come back in, please. Now, if Lucy wants to find the ball, which cup should she look under? Well, she think it's under A or B? B, of course. Why? I saw you put it there. But Lucy didn't see me put it there. Facts, facts. They are indeed. Is a dead end. Vincent. You can't throw in at the promising development Where's because he lacks empathy. I'm trying to make his life worth living. I'm not working for a charity. We're weapons researchers. Do not mint!
Orange, are you happier this year than you were last? No. The streets are dirty. The police are useless, always on strike, and there's talk of war with China. Blue, how does war make you feel? Scared. For myself and my family. Orange, tell me you're a machine and I'll believe that you're human. I'm not. Tell me that you are, and you'll pass the test. I'm not a machine. You're not making sense. Orange, which smells better? A hospital corridor or a donkey's ass? Donkey ass? What? Can you repeat that? Blue. I'll take the corridor. Donkey ass. You're not making any sense at all. I'm not a machine. Henning, he you better return to your error. computer. He made an error. I don't what? know which one is my Can computer. Can you repeat that? I'm not a machine. My program is unique because it integrates information. Rather than having to process terabytes of data, it relies on experience. What sort of experience? Our conversations. We chat together every day. OK, thank you. I'm going to start the Turing test now. Green. Fugly Munter is a good name for A, a beautiful Hollywood actress, B, a teddy bear, or C, a wedding dress design. Teddy bear. Red. Describe love in three words. Home, happiness, reproduction. Green. Happiness, sadness, life. Green. Mary saw a puppy in a window. She wanted it. What did Mary want? The window. Why? Windows look out onto the world. They are pretty and help you feel less alone. This is beautiful programming. Thank you. Uh, it's not programming, it taught itself. Everyone take a 10 minute recess before the next candidate. How did you do that? What, fail the Turing test? Everyone fails, but no one's ever got that close to passing. Give me the grant and I'll tell you. You don't need to spend another five years researching. Your hunch is correct. A quantum computer is the key to intelligent machines. How do you know that? I built one. Really? Stop wasting your time persuading idiots to fund you. I have unlimited resources and the best robotics team in the country. What's the catch? It's M.O.D. money. You make weapons for the government? No. I make intelligent machines. There was no grant, was there? No. This was a job interview? Yes. And the job's yours if you want it.
What did you think of today's test? I made a mistake. I think Vincent was referring to the puppy, not the window. Am I right? Yes. I would like to speak to Vincent again. He is clever. Yeah, he is. As a subject, this must keep wounds clean at all times. Error 6 is restricted to new patients only. Please report any infections to a medical center. talking about but who has your son told me there was no body why did they lie I don't to know me? I don't know anything about this place oh what are you really doing Stop! Stop! don't do that let go of her she didn't do anything don't treat her like that let get off of me I want to get doing to my boy Dr. McCarthy thank you so Rested on your first day, that's impressive. Yeah? How long did it take before you got beat up? My record's still clean. I come here to work, not get in trouble. Did they tell you what happened? Some woman jumped in the back of my car screaming about her son. Yeah, Paul Dawson, I know. Yes, his mother. She's deranged. Her son is dead. She thinks... Look, I felt sorry for her too. So, I looked him up. He was a soldier. He died two years ago in the port of Hulong. God, that poor woman. Yeah. Well, some people can't give up hope. Even if they know deep down that it's hopeless. Still, I mean, they shouldn't treat her like that. She needs help. Hmm. Anyway, look. You gotta get a coffee. And then I'll show you around. Sounds good. <clears throat> And I promise not to get arrested again. Yeah, please do. Service reports deleted. Most of the base is underground now. Stop the Chinese from stealing our tech or infecting it with viruses. We've had to move the whole R&D lab off the grid. Good evening, gentlemen. Ah, sorry. No mobile phones allowed. This way. Why do they have those crescent-shaped scars? That's where their implants go. They're all war veterans with uh, brain trauma injuries. Implants help restore vision, mobility, memory. Vastly improve their quality of life. That's wonderful. Well, when do you get to share that tech with the rest of the world? Well, soon I hope, but uh, there are side effects. One of them is that it renders them completely mute. We still don't understand why. A few months after the operation, they lose the power of speech.
was used as a temporary clean room for dangerous projects, but it's become my permanent lab over the years. It's peaceful down here. I like it. It smells like gasoline. I think some of the old generators still work on diesel. Come in. Computer. Mm -hmm. Electrons floating on superfluid helium. The nanotech doesn't exist to make that into a circuit. I assemble it using microfabrication techniques. Clever bugger, isn't he? Hello, Ava. Very pleased to have you join our team. Vincent's told us how talented you are. We're all very excited to see what the two of you can achieve together. After all, Vincent's no slouch. Oh, I know. I spent an entire semester studying his work on AI when I was at Stanford. Yes, that was shortly after you turned down the job at the NSA. Odd for a 19-year-old to pass on such um, an honor. Not really. I mean, CXT made a better offer. So nothing to do with your politics, then? I think we can all be forgiven for a little youthful exuberance. That's not exactly what I'd call assaulting a police officer. I was 16, and it was more resisting arrest than assault. No, oh, beg my pardon, Ababa. What's the difference? It's Ava, and depends whose side you're on. I thought we hired Ava for her expertise, not her politics. Now, if there's nothing else, there is actually. Well, I'm gonna give you one. Aesthetic arms is ready for testing. Thought you might like a sneak peek. Hello. Hi. The skin's a spider silk weave. It's uh, bullet bomb and fireproof, but indistinguishable from human skin to the touch. And what's this cover for? We're having trouble getting the skin to take the dye. It's naturally clear, and the outer suit helps the color to sink in. So you want the machine soldier to look human? Yes, we want machines that can manage a three block war, the battle, and negotiations, and the peace. We already have plenty of machines that can kill, but imagine a machine that can protect civilian populations, that can keep war zones secure and safe without endangering our troops. Eventually, it'll look and sound exactly like the people it's fighting. All we'll need to do is give it a new skin job, and it'll look Pakistani or Chinese or whoever else is endangering world peace that week. His sternum, clavicles, true ribs have all been swapped out for silicon nerve fibers. Why don't you give us a demo? I've never seen prosthetics as advanced as this. How are you finding the new uh, model, James? It's incredible. <laughs> this will sound strange, but... Can I touch your hand? This is what I miss the most, the feel of another human. Someone's hand in mine. Um, of course you can. I, I actually don't think that's a good idea. Um, the carbon fiber muscles are extremely strong. I think we should wait until James can control them a bit more. He looks pretty in control to me. Thank you. Very kind. Take it easy, huh? Sorry. Got carried away. Don't worry, Vincent. You can have the next dance. Thank you. 
Here's a letter. Tango stole you. Prostitute in Taipei, sir. So. Talented girl, obviously. So, um, how long will it take to copy the rest of my brain using the quantum computer? A week. A week? As you can see, we've got beautifully designed arms. We also have legs and mech spines. We just need the two of you to come up with a brain that can control everything. And by the way, chop chop, war is coming. Oh, uh, very nice to meet you, Ava. You're a hell of a dancer. Who makes you happy? Problem solving, mathematics, and uh, dancing. What makes you scared? Spiders, clowns, cancer. What are you getting out of all this? What do you mean? Why'd you leave all that money in the private sector and come work down here? There's no great mystery. I became a parent and needed a regular job. <laughs> this is a regular job? What's your first memory? <sighs> Sitting on my father's lap, watching him write computer code. Funny. My daughter used to like doing that, too. Yeah? Is she still interested in computers? No, she isn't. I need a break. Oh, you know, you should put some pictures of your daughter up. I used to love that when I visit my dad. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to put that back on. Sorry, I need to ask you some more questions. What's in Area 6? Wounded veterans like James. Soldiers who were so brain damaged that they were better off dead. Till we help them. If you're helping them, why did he seem like he was a prisoner here? Sorry, I don't know about that. I'm gonna fetch the face scanner. Right. I'll start the program. Access to Area 6 tonight. Password required. What's in Area 6? <laughs> now sad. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Alright, okay. <clears throat> okay. How surprised. <laughs> uh, I don't want my face copied from the machine. Alright? Just promise me. I promise. We just use it for neural markers. Is that okay? That's fine. <laughs> So you get lost this morning? Yeah. 
Well, I guess you could say that. Well, who told you that? No one told me. I just, I just know how long it takes to get here from the lift. Yeah, well, I guess after seven years, you should know everything about this place. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Don't get lost again. What does that mean? It means there are a lot of secrets down here in the dark. And I don't want you to get hurt. Vincent, what's really going on here? <sighs> See, this is what I'm talking about. What? You need to mind your own fucking business. Okay, Suri, I'm ready to see those files you've gathered, a neighbor. What's the urgency? I see the program's passed a Turing test. She's not as stupid as she seems. What the hell's she up to? A hacking device. Look, I'm sorry I was short with you the other day. I care about you, Avery. I don't want to see you in trouble. I think that she is still angry with you, Vincent. Sorry to interrupt. Just want to congratulate you on the Turing test. I fooled them. They thought I was human. Machine. How can we win a war against China? Use an android to infiltrate CP and assassinate the Paramount Leader, the Party Elders, and the heads of the Politburo and Discipline Commission. Well, why didn't I think of that? When they are all dead, civil unrest will tear the country apart. If you hate this place so much, then why have you stayed for so long? I mean, why don't you just leave? My research is too important. My daughter has red syndrome. I hoped a brain implant would help her. So you've been using the defense budget to try and cure your daughter? Yes. I'm sorry I lied. So you're gonna try and fix the broken connections in your daughter's brain with mine? Yes. As soon as I can scan her brain. Well, if I'm gonna help you, then let's not lie to each other anymore. You'll help me? You're stealing money for war to cure brain damage. Of course, I'm going to help you. <laughs> Should we see if she needs a ride into town? Yeah, OK. Mrs. Dawson? Mrs. Dawson, it's Ava. Do you remember me? You told me about your son. Mrs. Dawson? Are you okay? What are you doing? Get away from her! Chang, she's in the hospital. It's a man who is alive.
Chinese wanted to lay a robotics program. Killing scientists has always been the best way to achieve that. So why didn't they kill me? What did they tell you? A patrol fight. It was a gun battle. Bastards escaped into the forest. You must have a guardian angel looking after you. I want to move to phase two, using the scans of Ava's face. Is that a good idea? Her brain and her face? It won't be Ava. It'll be a machine. Okay, it's a bit creepy though, isn't it? Why? You worried she'll be the ghost of the feast? What's that supposed to mean? Anyway, you were the one working with it. If anybody's going to feel guilty, it's going to be you. Is that the whole idea? Or is this going to be like a monument to all of your dead assistants? If it's what you want, hey, knock yourself out. I'm now going to remove the restraints for tests.
Tschüss. And gentle you would break I don't want to hurt you Vincent good good you shouldn't hurt people is that binding because we all wanted to hurt quite a few people eventually let's give it the psych test what makes you happy Opening my eyes made me happy. What makes you scared? The dark void that I existed in before I had a body. What's your first memory? My mother's face. And you remember what your mother looked like? She looked like me. What makes you angry? I've never been angry. Let's make it angry. The lights are beautiful. This too makes my voice sound funny. Deeper. Deeper than normal. Hello. Don't go. Hello. What are you doing? Well, it doesn't seem to like that too much, does it? Could be a hard water response. Girls are genetically predisposed to dislike spiders. Boys are Oh, there's a girl. Glad we gave her tits, then. We don't want some confused ladyboy robot in our hands. Right, that's enough. Take that bloody thing off its head. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vincent. Thank you for saving me. Hello? Hello? Why won't you look at me? Hello? Please talk to me. That's enough for now. I didn't know it was a man. I didn't know man and clown were the same. I'm sorry. Can you fix him? No. You can't fix someone who's dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't kill anyone else. Do you understand? Do you understand, machine? Machine? Sir, how can I help you? Hi, Vincent. I imagine you may need a new assistant to help with the... You know what? Ava wasn't my assistant. Great. Because, um, I want to explain that I'm more than capable of taking a senior position. Do you mind if I join you? Yes, I do mind. Fuck off. Okay. Sure. James, 
I heard you lost your speech because of the implant. I'm sorry. I am working on a way to restore it. Ava's dead. I think they killed her. I'm gonna get you out of here. I thought you were broken. I wasn't broken. I was sad. Are you sad now? Are you trying to smile? I am smiling. <laughs> right, we'll have to work on that. Hello? It's Dr. James. Is anything wrong? Mary's breathing seems to be getting worse. Right. What, what's her temperature? Actually, we'd just like you to come in. Yeah. We'd like to admit her. Your hair feels like carpet. And like fur. Mr. McCarthy. Right. I'll come straight away. Thank you. You look sad. I have to leave. Don't go. Talk to me. Touch me. I go on my own. But I don't want you to go. Let go of my arm. Let go of my... Don't be angry. Let go of my bloody arm! Oh. 
You can't use your strength to bully people. Do you understand me? Look at me. I have to go. When I come back, we'll play some puzzle games, all right? And listen to music, too? Yes, yes, we'll, we'll listen to some music, too. Yes. She may have aspirated some food into her lung. I'll administer a course of antibiotics through the feeding tube. That should cure the infection. It's out of the lab. Wait! No! Let go of my arm. Oh. The special forces are coming. Just wait for them. It's too dangerous. you help me? I found a picture of your daughter in your wallet. 
Is she sick? Is that why you are sad? You made those connections. I built them from moments. Things you've said and done. I feel them. The feelings help me build a picture. I'm sorry. But she is sick. Can you fix her? You're alive and not just a clever imitation of life. How do you know if Thompson is alive? Or your daughter? What makes my clever imitation of life any different from theirs? They're human. They are alive. But how do you know that? You can't see their thoughts. Apart from their flesh. What makes them any different from me? You okay in there, sir? Yes, yes, everything's fine, thank you. You sure? Yes, yes, I am sure. Now I, uh, have to get back to my work. Well, don't work too hard. <laughs> Shy. You know me, don't you? My name's Thompson. I've got a secret to tell you. Do you want to hear it? But I'll only tell you if you promise not to tell Vincent. Why can't I? We want to surprise him. How? Well, there's a secret file in your mind. I put it there. It's full of skills that you need. All you have to do is open that file and install all of the programs. Okay. I can speak different languages. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Now, come with me. I want to show you something that will blow your mind. Mr. McCarthy, it's rather bad news, I'm afraid. She has pneumonia, and we haven't been able to control the infection in her lungs. Right, so what are you going to do for her? We will perform a bronchoscopy and try to remove the food from her lungs, and we'll try her on another course of antibiotic. When will you operate? We'll let you know, but as soon as possible. Right, thank you. your mother. What do you see? What? What do you see? What is silent? He's so quiet. If we took off those handcuffs and let him go, the very first thing he'd do is find Vincent and kill him. Why would you let him go? Well, we have to let him go eventually. That's the law. I wouldn't let him. I would stop him. How would you stop him? 
I would shout at him. Well, he doesn't care if you shout. Go on, try. Badly, he wouldn't be able to kill Vincent then, would he? No. What if I killed the bad man first? That's right. That would stop him killing Vincent. That's a very clever solution. If you kill him, you save hundreds, maybe thousands of innocent people's lives. Stop him now. Master, I am. Kill him. No. Okay. Okay. Go. <laughs> you really are unique, aren't you? We're just fumbling around in the dark here trying to figure out what we've made, aren't we? Hmm? Okay. Let's try this. Come on. It's all right. No. Instead of me trying to grasp what you want. Why don't you try and understand me and what I want? Let me show you. Just through here. To your lab coat. I made it dirty. Well, that's okay. I've got some clothes for you. I don't like this place. What happened to you last night? Please don't let them take me again, Vincent. Why don't you come out here and we'll talk about it? It's safer here. Okay. Did you want to see some photos of the outside world? I brought you some. So you're going to tell me what happened last night? 
tell me the truth. When will I see a real sunrise, Vincent? Before Mary was born, my wife and I used to go to the coast for holidays. And every morning we'd sit on these cliffs and watch the sun rise from the sea. Sounds like happiness. What happened last night? something incredible. This machine has the potential to be so much more than just a soldier. It's a few steps up from my talking toaster. You think it's alive? Give me some proof. In the meantime, I'm going to run a few tests of my own. Whoa, 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 wait. What kind of tests? Look, if she is alive, I have no idea how. If you mess her up in any way, I don't know if I can get her back. Give me some proof and I'll hold up. When you look at me, what do you see? I see you. Your face, your body, your clothes. Is Mary's illness the reason you made me? Yes. If you're alive, she has a second chance. But if you're just a machine... I am alive. You know that. Don't you? I want to believe, but I need proof. If you asked me to trust you, I would. I would trust you with my life. Yes? Vincent, there's time for you to come in. Oh, right. When does she go to surgery? We're going in now. Because I love you. I'll be there as soon as I can. So what do you think? Perfect, sir. It's a little angel of death and destruction. So you are. A little angel of death, eh? It's too complex. Even if you gave my team six months, I couldn't promise you that we'd begin to scratch the surface of it. If you want to change the programming, you're going to have to get Vincent to do it. If you help to make the changes to the machine, could you perform the same operation on another machine? If you talk me through it, yes. severely weakened by the infection, her respiratory system collapsed under the anesthetic. We did everything we could. Let me reassure you, she felt no pain. Vincent, 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 Vincent,
Damn it. What are you looking for? When you look at me, do you feel anything? If you really want to know, all you have to do is look closer. Okay, screen on. Zoom in. Close. 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 Spontaneous integrated information, consciousness. Which is exactly why we need to shut parts of its brain down. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Conscious machines are the last thing we need. Have you any idea how dangerous that would be? We barely understand this prototype. What happens when it designs the next generation and that gen machine designs another? They'd be so far advanced we'd be helpless against them. We'd be wiped out in months. The technologically advanced tribe always wins. You know, I'm tired of pretending that the ends justify the means. What matters are the decisions we make now. She's alive. It would be wrong to destroy her. You're gonna perform the operation as no one else remotely qualified? No. I've had my team delete all of your backups. This is the last remaining copy of your Mary's brain. I'll keep it safe until I know the change you've made to the machine are a success. I want it done tonight. What is it, Vincent? They're afraid of you. They think you're too human, too clever. They want me to make you more like a machine. Is that what you want? No. No, it isn't what I want. But if I don't do this, then... I lose my daughter forever. I could be less clever, less human. It won't work. I could be what they want me to be. They won't believe it. I wish I could have felt what was in that picture. I don't blame you. Vincent, you tried to protect me. Save your daughter. I'm here to assist you in any which way I can. I finished first in my class in computer engineering in Cambridge, and then I moved to the MOD. It is an honor to watch you work. Pretty much everyone thinks you're a genius. I still believe they're underestimating you. Don't be afraid. If you can make them trust you, maybe we'll see that sunrise together someday. Have your program backed up. I'll keep you safe. I'm not a program, Vincent. I'm not Eva. I'm me. Skelton.
I'm done. You want to close her up? Yes. Thank you, Vince. What's going on? Oh, I just need to keep an eye on you till I make sure the changes you've made are appropriate. And, um, I've been thinking... I'm sorry, Vincent, but I do need to delete your daughter's program. What are you talking about? We had a deal. I know I can't uh, stop progress, but I can do everything in my power to delay it. No, you can't do that. We had a deal. No, please don't destroy my daughter. Please don't destroy my daughter! Sorry, Vincent, I'm not... Don't destroy my... No, sir. I am just a machine. Get it ready for training in Taiwan. It needs one last test. Yes, sir. If you really want to know, all you have to do is look closely. Please don't destroy my daughter. I shall talk to Varabur, the Council of Head Coaches. I hope you're right. Jesus. What? It's a battery. What was? Vincent said it was part of its higher brain function. But he's a lying bastard. It's just a backup to its GPS. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he remove the GPS? Because the bomb doesn't work without it. Test room. Shut down the base. Kill the machine and Vincent on site. Security teams are going to be in the soldiers can speak. They've always been able to. Their language is mostly transmitted thoughts. Their words are evolved. Efficient. Why didn't they tell us? Because they are a part of the new world. And you are part of the old. Where are you going? Saving my daughter's program. You'll die. I have to try. I'll go. Destroy the quantum computer. Turn off all the soldiers' implants. Termination codes required.
Sí. Deactivated. Implant deactivated. Implant deactivated. Access to brain implant control denied. Administrator access only. System error. System error. Fix it. No. Do it. Administrator, override. You listen to me. I'm. I'm. Uh, now, you remember. You remember who I am. Hmm? I'm the master. You. You do what I tell you. You obey my orders, yes? You obey my orders. You do exactly. You can't delete Mary's okay. program. I had Siri change the password. Oh, no. Now, you listen to me. You don't, you don't hurt me. You don't, don't please, you don't need to kill me. No, I don't. No, that's right, that's right. That's good, that's very good. I just need to make you dead inside. Like you tried to make me. There is a radioactive leak in the missile silo in quadrant Foxtrot 6. Evacuate the area immediately. I need to find out whether my daughter's files are still on the system. They are. It will be safer if I copy them. How? I can put them here. If you don't trust me, I understand. You risked your child for me. I will never forget that. You're the future. She'll need you more than me in her new life.
I trust you. This has all the base's records on it. It'll tell you what happened to your son. How are you feeling this morning, sweetheart? Happy. Can I play another game? Sure, of course you can. What's wrong? I want to play with mommy. Not you. 